Dear students, under the topic Nonlinear Partial Differential Equations, we are solving problems under standard type 3. So here we have problem 3 under type 3. That is, the question is p square plus q square is equal to x plus y. We see that only x, y, p and q are present and z is not present. So this given equation is of the form f1 of x comma p is equal to f2 of y comma q is in, uh, this given equation is in this form so what we have to do though as the first step you have to gather all x and p to the left side of the equation and y and q to the right side of the equation so let us do that that is uh, bringing this x to the left we will be having p squared minus x is equal to y remains as it is on the right taking this q to the right that is q square to the right it becomes negative q square now these two terms can be i mean these two uh, equations can be equated to a constant a so when this equation uh, when 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 it is equal to the constant a each of these will be equal to a so therefore p square minus x will be equal to a so from this the value of p will be i mean p square will be equal to taking this negative x to the right we will be having x plus a on the right so therefore the value of p will be equal to taking square root on both the sides it becomes plus or minus square root of x plus a so therefore the value of p is equal to square root plus or minus square root of x plus a in a similar way y minus q square will be equal to a so from this the value of q square will be equal to y minus a and so the value of q will be equal to plus or minus square root of y minus a. So this is the value of q. So therefore we have obtained the value of p and the value of q. Now we have to substitute p and q in the equation dz is equal to p dx plus q dy. So, when we substitute in this, dz will be equal to what is p plus or minus square root of x plus a dx plus q is what plus or minus square root of y minus a dy. Now, we have to integrate on both the sides. So, when we integrate on both the sides, integral dz is z which is equal to now here it is x plus a to the power 1 by 2. So, plus or minus x plus a to the power 1 by 2 plus 1 which will be 3 by 2 after integration. So, divided by 3 by 2 plus or minus. Now, here y minus a power 1 by 2. So, after integration it becomes y minus a to the power 1 by 2 plus 1 which is 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 plus a constant of integration b. So, therefore, z is equal to plus or minus 2 by 3. So, this becomes 2 by 3 x plus a the whole power 3 by 2 plus or minus again 2 by 3 y minus a the whole power 3 by 2 plus b. Now, we see that 2 by 3 and 2 by 3 is common in these two terms and so it can be taken and written as plus or minus I am taking common and then 2 by 3. So, within the bracket, I will be having x plus a the whole power 3 by 2 plus y minus a the whole power 3 by 2 plus b. So, this is the required complete solution of the given problem. So, hope you have understood this problem. In our next video, we will solve problem 4 under the same type that is type 3. So, kindly follow the next video lecture. Thank you.